Hi guys, so this video is going to be a full face of testing waterproof makeup. So this is the makeup look that I came up with. Like everything on my face right now is claiming to be waterproof. So if you guys want to see in this video how I got this makeup look and whether this stuff stays waterproof because there is going to be a little live test for you guys to see how well this makeup actually holds up on my face. I randomly thought of it when I was searching for a W7 foundation and saw that this one claimed to be waterproof. I thought why not do a full face of waterproof makeup and test it out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I've got my big box of waterproof makeup here and I'm just going to get started. The first product that claims to be waterproof is actually a foundation. This is the W7 C in the rain foundation and it does clearly say on the bottle here waterproof foundation hey it matches my nails cute um, and this is in the shade buff it looks like it's gonna be a bit too dark for me but I've never tried this before I got this the other day I've only swatched it on my hand so we're gonna see if this is waterproof yep this color is definitely too dark for me I am gonna be doing a testing W7 makeup video like a full face of W7 so if you guys are interested in that, then make sure you hit the little subscribe button. The downside of having like white hair is that when I put my foundation around my hairline, it just turns these bits orange. Okay, so the concealer I'm using technically doesn't claim to be waterproof, but this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. And the way I look at this is most people shower in the space of 24 hours. So I'm just gonna see if this is actually waterproof. The foundation still feels pretty sticky very sticky actually I feel like it hasn't actually set so I'm then just setting my whole face with powder because if I don't this is not gonna stay on I feel like it needs to be set okay so now that I've set my face I'm moving on to my eyebrows and for my brows I'm actually using the Maybelline color tattoo that one of the 24 hour ones is in, and this is in the shade permanent taupe and these eyeshadows do claim to be waterproof I believe but I think that this is a pretty good eyebrow color I used to use this on my brows all the time it's kind of like a gray color to be honest but let's just see let's just see how this goes I haven't used this in a while Okay, so I'm still alive. Okay, so I accidentally did my eyebrows absolutely massive, but at least we know they're on there now. I then have some waterproof eyeshadow products, which is pretty exciting. I have a collection Work The Color Eyeshadow Pencil, which does say waterproof and long lasting, and this is in the shade Vanilla Sky. And I've then got two of the Kiko Long Lasting Stick eight hour no transfer eyeshadows and I put one of these in the back of my hand once and it didn't come off for like three days so I'm just gonna go with these are probably waterproof so I'm gonna put the gold Kiko one in the shade 07 all over my eyelid look how gorgeous that color is okay so I think you have to work pretty fast if you want to blend them out because they seem to set pretty quickly for some reason these are really like creased on my eyelids and gone all lumpy when i swatched these on my hand before they didn't go like lumpy at all yeah when i swatch it on my hand it's like just metallic but for some reason my eyelids they're going lumpy so i'm then going to use the collection one on my inner corners this is really hard to get it to come out let's warm up a bit I'm then taking the Kiko eyeshadow stick in 05, and this is a kind of brown color. And I'm just gonna run this through my crease. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit on, and then I'm gonna try and blend it. Please blend. I think maybe I should have blended out this gold one a bit, and it might have gone a bit less lumpy. So I have two waterproof eyeliners. I have a high-end one, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner that says waterproof liquid eyeliner. I also have the Collection Waterproof Fast Stroke Eyeliner. So I'm gonna be using both of these, one on each eye, and I'm gonna see which one lasts better. Ah, <laughs> this brush is very fat. I'm not gonna lie, this brush is very hard to use. So I completely messed up this side of my eyeliner, so I then had to completely mess up this side so that they matched. So I'm now using this Rimmel London Nude Scandalized Waterproof Cole Kajal Pencil. That was a mouthful. And I'm gonna put this in my waterline. 
And I'm then gonna put in my tight line, the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is just like a pencil eyeliner. So on my top lashes, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara, and this one has like the blue little, whatever it's called, logo. <laughs> So I'm just putting that one on my top lashes so I can test another one as well. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the Max Factor False Lash Effect Waterproof Mascara, which again has the blue logo. Um, but this one is in the shade Brown Black, so that's why I didn't do it on like one on each eye. So for a little bit of blush, I'm going to use this Posy Tint by Benefit, which is a lip and cheek stain. So by the word stain, it kind of implies that it stains your face. Whoa, this is so bright pink. Right, I'm just going to dab a bit of this on and then just kind of... Oh dear, what have I done? I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but this is so hard to blend. For my highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Smoking Whistles Super Shock Cheek, and this doesn't claim to be waterproof. This is like the only kind of product out of all of this that isn't really waterproof, but I just want to see how well it holds up anyway, because it's like a kind of cream highlight. And I don't know, I feel like maybe a cream highlight might last a bit longer than a powder highlight in the water. Um, and this is so gorgeous, like, oh my god, I don't know why I don't wear this more. This is such a pretty highlighter, like look, it's so shiny and beautiful. I guess the final makeup product I'm going to use that is waterproof is a liquid lipstick. I have two of these sleek ones here, I don't know which colour to wear. I have Shabby Chic and Party Pink, this is Party Pink. Um, I think I might just go all out and wear like the pinky red one because why not? So interest, I'm gonna put these on my hand as well and see how well they like hold up. Okay, so this is what the makeup looks like. I'll do a close-up of my eyes and I apologize. My my eye makeup isn't looking the greatest right now, but oh well. So this is what the eye makeup looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit kind of clumpy and uneven. And the eyeliner is really not great, but oh well. Okay guys, here we go. I'm about to go literally spray myself in the face with the shower. Wish me luck. Please ignore these bits here. They were like different liquid lipsticks. Okay, so I just gave this stuff a quick rub. Both of the eyeliners have kind of come off. However, the two eyeliners that I wore on my waterline have come off. The cheek stain is still there. Um, this collection eyeliner is still there. The lipstick's still there. And the eyeshadow stick is still there. Okay guys, so I'm back and um, I'm actually dripping still. Look at my hair right now. What, what is going on here? Um, so, I just sprayed my face with the shower for like a solid minute. It all went up my nose at one point and I managed to get it in my ears as well. I honestly have no idea how. Let's have a little inspection. So, I am not gonna lie, the foundation has actually stayed on pretty well. I don't know if you were to go swimming, like for, I don't know, um, kind of have your head or like your face in the water for maybe like half an hour, like if you're swimming or something then I don't think this would last. I literally sprayed it like straight into my face for like a minute straight and it's kind of gone a little bit patchy around here but for the most part it's like oh my god look I'm still dripping but for the most part it is actually like still on my face and it still feels like matte um the blush stayed there the highlight is still there like you can still see this highlight Yep, the highlight is definitely still on there. The eyebrows are still there. I think they did kind of get worn away a little bit and they're all kind of like sticking up in funny directions and just had to brush them. I feel like the eyebrows were definitely bigger before I just did that. I feel like some of it might have come off a little bit. I think the worst thing to be honest is both of the eye eyeliners. This one's definitely kind of held up a lot worse. This one's kind of flaked and smudged as you can see under my eyes. Um, this one has also flaked off. Um, when I did it the first go with the shower, it didn't come off. But then when I did it for like the second time around, it all kind of flaked off again. Yeah, the eyeshadow is still definitely on there. Like, it's all on there. 
Hopefully you can see this. Oh, this is really stinging my eyes. I've got contact lenses in. The eyeshadow is definitely still there. The eyeliner in my waterline is pretty much gone. However, on my tight line, it's still pretty much there. Wow, the things I do for YouTube, this is not attractive. The mascaras lasted pretty well, both of them. There's a tiny little bit of flaking here, which I think is from the um, underneath one, because I can see a little bit of mascara missing on my lower lash line. But the uh, Maybelline mascara on my top lashes is still completely there, let me see. Yep, no, it's not coming off on my finger. What about this one? Yeah, this one's not either, so I would say that both of those waterproof mascaras are still, like, pretty good. Oh, and the lipstick. The lipstick's actually come off a little bit in the middle. Like, here, it seems to have worn away. Like, do you see this? I don't know whether that's because I was going like this the whole time I was, like, spraying myself in the face. I don't even know. I think... I've tried these lipsticks before, and I love them, so... I think they are pretty waterproof to be honest, like for the most part it's still there, it didn't smudge or anything. So that is the final verdict on this waterproof face makeup. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I hope you guys found it a bit helpful seeing how well this makeup lasted on my face. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, just press the little button down there. If you are interested in following me on my social medias, I have an Instagram, a Twitter, a Snapchat, and a Snapchat, Snapchat, and a Depop, and they are all just Soph Does Nails. I also have a vlog channel which is Soph Does Vlogs, and that's about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!